Mr. Chairman, Mr. Welch, have you had a chance to uh, review uh, the city attorney uh, for the town of Portsmouth, uh, Attorney Sullivan, who was also um, a key member of the Cocoa Landfill Group? Have you reviewed his 15th September I did letter? have an opportunity the other day to read his letter, yes. Okay. Uh, comments, please? Uh, I suggest seriously that this board invite him to be here to talk uh, and to expand on his letter. Um, the original letter from the Board of Selectmen uh, that they had requested us to write uh, dealt with a potential conflict of interest. He has said he does not have one. Uh, I think he can come and explain that to you in person. I think that's a good thing for him to do. It's also a good thing to get it out in public so that we know exactly what his thoughts are and exactly where they're going with the, the city of Portsmouth is going um, in their relationship with Coakley and the relationship in getting Coakley corrected. Specifically, when, when he declares there is no conflict of interest, uh, he, he says on page one, is my role on the committee to advance the interests of the city of Portsmouth in performing the work of the Coakley Landfill Group? That's what he said. Um, comments, please. Well, that supposedly is his, is his goal. <laughs> and he says so in writing, so, you know, I don't know to the contrary. However, uh, I think you should have him come in and explain it and thoroughly explain it. So there's no question about the fact that he is or is not in a conflict of interest. Uh, yeah, Attorney Sullivan can say whatever he wants uh, or opine however he wants to be. It's, uh, sure. it's, it's, it's as clear as the nose on my face. Um, Mr. Chairman, uh, if, if the, uh, the board and, and you would agree, I'd be interested in not just perhaps meeting with the Board of Selectmen, but perhaps uh, uh, extending it to a, a public hearing. We could have Representative Edgar, Representative Mesmer. We could have our uh, Dr. Belisero. We could have town yep. attorney. And I, I, I don't think this is the appropriate venue. I think it rises to the level of a, uh, a hearing. Uh, and not to be scheduled on a, um, uh, a selectman's meeting. I don't, I don't think that is the, uh, the, the venue for it. Uh, if it requires a motion, I would make one, but I leave it to you and the town manager and the town attorney. And I think sooner than later would be better. I think probably we need to hold it here so we can get it on camera. Yes. So everybody can hear it. Oh, yes. This was his intention as right. well. Yeah. To, to have a public hearing, not a selectman's meeting. Yes, sir. I, well, so it makes things simple because it's just one item. I'll second that motion. You got a motion? And you did you one. make a motion? Yes, yes, yes sir. He did. Motion, seconded, favor. All right, so it'll be a public hearing. Can you schedule that? Or yes, sir. Can you, Mark, well. somebody take care of that? Yep. Okay.